subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Komodo Dragon. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a Junior Ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. What is it, Hero? What did you find? Hero, it's an egg. Did you scare the bird away from her egg? An egg is one of the ways a baby animal gets born. Most eggs have shells that protect the baby animal inside. The baby bird will have to crack open the shell and push its way out. See, it's pretty hard. We need to find a warm place to put the egg so that it will hatch. Great idea, Hero. Let's bring it to the treehouse. I think the baby bird is coming out. That's weird. Baby birds don't look like that. It's not a bird. It's a lizard. I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's make a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, little lizard. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, brother. The computer is looking for information about the lizard. Bingo! This lizard is a Komodo dragon. A dragon? Yes, a Komodo dragon. It's a type of lizard. Despite its name, it doesn't breathe fire. <laughs> it's also known as the Komodo monitor. Where does it come from? Komodo dragons are found mainly on the islands of Southeast Asia. The Komodo dragon you found comes from here. So what do Komodo dragons eat? Komodo dragons eat other animals, such as birds, mammals, and other lizards. It's a carnivore. Baby Komodo dragons eat insects and other small animals. Hmm, there aren't that many insects in our garden. We should bring baby Komodo back to the island it came from. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Come on, everybody. Join me in the party. One, two, here we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Come on, everybody. Join me in the party. One, two, it's your turn for lots of fun. Ranger Rocky! Welcome to the rainforest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you brought a young male Komodo dragon. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We're here to bring baby Komodo back to its home. That's great, Leo. But make sure you find a place with no adult Komodo dragons. No adult Komodo dragons? Why not? After laying her eggs, the mother Komodo dragon will leave them to survive on their own and adult Komodo dragons might eat the baby lizards. Oh dear! Eat the baby lizards? How will they survive on their own? Young Komodo dragons will live in the trees to hide from predators, such as larger lizards and snakes. When they are bigger, they will go down to walk the land. Then we should help him find a new home away from other lizards and snakes. That's right, Leo. Don't forget, young Komodo dragons live in the trees. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. What is it, Hero? <gasps> Baby Komodo is gone. Where did he go? Let's follow Hero. There you are, Hero! Oh no! Baby
Baby Komodo is being chased by an adult Komodo dragon. We need to help Baby Komodo. What should we do? Wait, the baby dragon is almost at that tree. He's safe if he can climb up. Oh no! A second Komodo dragon appeared. To scare away a Komodo dragon, we need to make loud noises. Loud noises? Okay, Hero, you know what to do. Look! The Komodo dragons are confused because of the noise. I've got you, baby Komodo. We did it! We found an empty spot in a tree for the baby Komodo dragon. Great work, everyone! Hooray! Yay! We found a young Komodo dragon in our garden. We learned that a Komodo dragon is a lizard. So we went to the rainforest and found a safe, empty spot in a tree. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Malayan Water Monitor. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Hero, I'm trying to get better at swimming, but it's not fun practicing alone. Why don't we swim together? You go first, Hero. Wow, you're a natural hero. Maybe I should try it your way. Ah! It's a crocodile! There's a small crocodile in the pool. Boy, that was scary. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. So if it's not a crocodile, what is it? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is a water monitor. There are different types of water monitors, and the one in our pool is a Malayan water monitor. I see. Still, it sure looks like a crocodile. It's easy to mistake water monitors for crocodiles, especially when they're in the water. But if you look closely, they're quite different. Water monitors have a shorter snout and a longer, thinner tail as compared to crocodiles. But like crocodiles, water monitors are often found near water and are excellent swimmers. This is because the long, powerful tails of water monitors are used to propel them through the water. Wow! Maybe I should learn how to improve my swimming from a water monitor. <laughs> Don't get too close, though. Water monitors will defend themselves if they feel threatened. I see. So, what kind of food do water monitors eat? They eat small animals, fish, and birds. But if they want to, they can eat anything they can swallow. Yikes! I don't think the water monitor belongs here. What if it eats all the animals in our garden? Well, normally, Malayan water monitors don't live in gardens. They live in forests in different countries in South and Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. Hmm. I think we should return the water monitor to its natural home in the forest. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. I'm sure the water monitor would be happy to go back home. See you downstairs. Rocky. Welcome to the forest, Junior Rangers. Ah, 
I see you've brought a young water monitor with you. How can you tell it's young, Ranger Rocky? This water monitor is smaller than an adult water monitor. Adult water monitors usually grow to a length of about two and a half to three meters. Now, take a closer look at its body. Young water monitors have special markings on their bodies and are more colorful than the adults. As they grow older, the markings fade. I see. Ranger Rocky, we're trying to return the water monitor to its home. Do you know where we should look? If you want to find the water monitor's home, look for the banks of a large river. Though water monitors are land creatures, they can climb trees. And they are amazing swimmers. So water monitors usually live near river banks. They dig burrows at the water's edge to rest and hide from predators. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Hmm. There are too many rocks on this bank for the water monitor to dig its home. Look, Leo. What about the bank on the other side? Hmm, that looks like a good place, Katie. There aren't as many rocks over there. Come on, everyone. Let's go over there. Here we go. Whoa! Leo! The float is losing air. What's happening, Hero? Let me take a look. A large fishing hook pierced the float. We need to get the hook out and fix the float. Leave the fishing hook to me, Leo. Good luck, Katie. There. But we're losing a lot of air. If we don't fix the float, the Jeep will sink. We have to cover the hole. What can we use? The water monitor covered the hole by sitting on it. Thanks, water monitor. Great, let's head to the riverbank. We made it. Work, water monitor. Goodbye, little friend. We did it. We found the water monitor's home. Great job, everyone. Yay! Yay! Today, we found a Malayan water monitor in our garden. We learned that water monitors live in forests where they build their homes near water. So we went to a riverbank in the forest and found its home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The South African cheetah. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. I'm bird watching. We have to be really quiet and invisible or we'll scare the birds away. Let's see what we can find. Over there, it's an owl and it's fast asleep. Hey, there's some movement in those leaves. I think it's some kind of cat, but I've never seen a cat with fur like that before. <laughs> How strange! This cat sounds just like a bird. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi Katie. So, did you find out what kind of cat it is? Hi Leo. I sure did. The animal you found is actually a South African cheetah. And it's a cub, which means it's still young. Cheetahs are the fastest land animals in the world. The cheetah is built for speed. It has a light, slender body and long, flexible legs. 
But even though the cheetah is a fast runner, it gets tired quickly after chasing prey. Chasing prey? They eat other animals? Cheetahs feed on small to medium-sized animals, such as hares, birds, and antelopes. But the one you found is still a cub, so it needs milk from its mother. A mother cheetah also protects her cubs from predators and teaches them how to hunt. By the way, South African cheetahs live in deserts and grasslands in South Africa. And the one you found comes from this place. Hmm, the cheetah cub needs to be with its mother to get milk and learn how to hunt. We should return it to its home in South Africa. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Welcome to the savannah, Junior Rangers. What are you doing up there, Ranger Rocky? Illegal hunters have been spotted nearby, so I'm on the lookout for them. Up here, I have a good view of the savannah. Ah, I see you brought along a cheetah cub with you today. Make sure you watch over your little friend. Cheetahs are a vulnerable species. This means they are in danger of disappearing forever. Many cheetahs lose their homes to people who take their land to build and farm. Cheetahs are also hunted illegally for their fur. On top of that, cheetahs, especially cheetah cubs, are stolen from their homes to be sold as illegal pets. That's terrible! We'll make sure our cheetah cub stays safe. Ranger Rocky, we're trying to return the cheetah cub to its mother. Do you know where we should look? Find the cheetah cub's brothers and sisters and you'll find its mother. A mother cheetah normally has three to six cheetah cubs, which she hides in thick clumps of grass. You should look out for bushes or tall grass with the sound of chirping. Cheetah cubs make calls that sound like bird chirps. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! What? The Jeep stopped working. I think the engine is overheated. We'll have to walk. Cheetah Cub! Look at those animal traps, Leo. They must be the illegal hunters that Ranger Rocky was looking for. After them! It's no use. They're too fast. If only we could run as fast as the cheetah. We can't run as fast as a cheetah, but we certainly can fly as fast as one. That's a great idea. Come on, everyone. Let's get the cheetah cub back. I can't get the cheetah cub out of the net unless we slow down. Hero, I need your help! I got you, Cheetah Cub! No more hunting for these guys! Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Excellent work, Junior Rangers! You've saved the Cheetah Cub and helped me catch these illegal hunters! We did it! We found the Cheetah Cub's family! Great job, everyone! Hooray! Yay! We found a South African cheetah in our garden. We learned that cheetahs are the fastest animals on land and that young cheetah cubs need to be with their mother. So we went to the savannah and brought the cheetah cub back to its family. Good job, children. You did it. 
You are amazing wildlife rangers. The white-bellied sea eagle. Look, hero, I have a new kite. Oh, hello. My name is Leo, and I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Let's fly the kite together. It'll be fun. We'll fly it high in the sky. We have to look for an open space to fly. Hey, look, there is another kite in the sky. Let's go and see who is there. Maybe we can fly our kites together. Hey, where did it go? It was just here a moment ago. What is it, Hero? Did you find the kite? Whoa, that's not a kite. It's a bird. I wonder what kind of bird it is. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Look over here, Birdie. Hi, Katie. What have you got? You're here just in time, Leo. This bird is a sea eagle. There are eight types of sea eagles in the world. And the one you found is a white-bellied sea eagle. It has a dark colored back and wings, but its head, belly, and tail are white. That's how you can tell it's a white-bellied sea eagle. I see. Where did it come from? White-bellied sea eagles are found in India and Sri Lanka, through Southeast Asia to Australia. They breed and hunt near water. White-bellied sea eagles eat sea animals like fish, turtles, and sea snakes. They also eat small birds and mammals. Well, it definitely does not belong in our garden. We should take it to a place where it can find food. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Ranger Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Welcome to the lake. I see you have a new friend with wings this time. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We want to return it to where it belongs. As you may know, sea eagles are raptors or birds of prey. This means they hunt and feed on other animals. It's one of the largest raptors around. Females are bigger than males, and a pair of them will stay together for life. For life? We have to help this white-bellied sea eagle find its partner then. It must be worried. Like they say, two is better than one. These birds have good eyesight, and they sometimes hunt together to find food. If you find the place where it can find food, maybe you can find its partner. There's fish in the lake, but we don't see any other sea eagles around. This lake is a bit small, but don't give up. Just look for another place with a large body of water. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. The coastline is further ahead, but this river is also a large body of water. Do you think there are other white-bellied sea eagles here? We should look out for them. What is it, Hero? Hey, there's a large bird up there. Do you think it is our eagle's partner? <laughs> I'm not sure, Leo. They sound different. <laughs> oh no, it looks like they're fighting. Hello, Junior Rangers. Have you found a large body of water yet? We found a river, Ranger Rocky, but we also found a large bird. The sea eagle and the new bird are fighting. Oh, my. What does this new bird look like? It looks a lot like our sea eagle, but this bird has a brown stripe over its eyes. The new bird sounds like an osprey. 
They also live near water to feed on fish. You must have entered its space. So they both like to eat fish. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. I have an idea. These birds look hungry, so let's find some fish for them. This looks like a good spot. Hero, you're first. <coughs> now we just need to wait for Hero. Here he is. <coughs> hey birds, there's enough for everybody. It's the coast! We made it! We did it! We found the white-bellied sea eagle's partner! Nice work, everyone! Yay! white-bellied sea eagle in our garden. We learned that white-bellied sea eagles live near water and that they will stay with their partner for the rest of their life. So we went to the coastline and brought it back to its partner. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there!